What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, George, a.k.a. Mr. North Phoenix. And uh, we're going to uh, do some orange chicken for y'all tonight. Orange chicken fried rice. Uh, pork fried rice I'm going to do. So um, I'm over here at the Asian market right now. Oh, there you go. You can see them right there. The Asiana uh, market. So we're going to go on the side of the market and uh, see what they have in store for us, you guys. But yeah, like I said, uh, go ahead and like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm doing a lot of cooking videos for y'all. But uh, this is uh, orange chicken and uh, pork fried rice. Let's get it, gang gang. Gang gang. We're inside now, inside of the Asian market, so um, they got some crazy products in here, you guys, um, that, you know, they don't normally have, uh, you know, at places. So we'll go in. Oh, here's my noodles right here, y'all. They, the, they got the whole selection of the Asian noodles, y'all. These are the, 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 the noodles I want to try. They got the hot and spicy challenge noodles in here somewhere. We've gotten them here before. Um, but yeah, you got a, a nice little selection of noodles over here. Oh, okay, here we go, right here. They got the black shins. Oh no, it's called, uh... These ones down there. Hey, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's this one right here, the, uh... Yeah, yeah, that one, the Samsung. Let me see that. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. Hey, look at that, boy. Look at that little chicken. Yeah, this is him right here. Oh, this is two times hot? What, you gonna try my babe? Oh, this is the stew type. Stew type. We don't want stew type. Let's grab the other one down there, grab Elijah. The grab that. Yeah, let's see that one. Hold that. Take the other one back. No, we don't want that one. That's stew type. We got. So you, what you want to do, babe? You want to get? We get two, and then because it makes a lot. And we and get shrimp. We gonna split it. We gonna split it. Okay. Yeah. All right, grab Ramen it. noodles. We grab that one. Wait, are these that don't noodles? say shrimp, boy. Oh. That says. <laughs> I mean, like, can, if there's any shrimp, shrimp flavor. Hey, I want to get some of these different Asian ones, though, babe, because I, I like these ones these they got. These are Japanese, I thought. They're, they're, well, Asian is Japanese, boy. Asia. That, that, not necessarily what? Japanese, Asian, same thing. No, Japan, Asian is, like Asia is a continent. It's a Japan is in Asia. China's in Asia. Okay. Korea's in Asia. Yeah, I'm not good with that. Uh, Indonesia is in Asia. All those places are in Asia. So this is a store of, you know, a different, you know, it's not just a Chinese store or something like that. It's different stuff. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm not sure. I'm going to look over this. Um, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and overview these noodles. And then uh, we'll come back. little seafood selection y'all they got a nice little these wow oh, like oh yeah I, oh, yeah i thought them in the stew with potatoes Ooh, the we need some, you need short ribs eight bucks for all that that shit that shit go look at that beef short ribs they got a nice little selection y'all that one's cheap compared to these are 21 what's the difference on me, y'all. We in the Asian market. Why oh, they got a bunch of white folks working here? Oh, God. I ain't got nothing against white people. Why are we in the Asian market, though? In the Asian market? Watch, I'm going to show y'all. Oh, God. On me. Oh, it's just going to be three of them. One. Two. One. Two. And a white boy over there on me. On me. And a nigga up in here, too. Why they got to get I got to get to the American people, though. On me. So, yeah, it's real authentic. Samuel. So, we just got out of the Asian market. Um, kids said a bunch of racist things inside of there. Um, pretty offensive. Um, one of them said to the cashier, which that we all seen, they were all, you know, Caucasian. Uh, I've never uh, known uh, Japanese people who live in America. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to show you what we got out of there. We went to get some pork chopped up, but, uh, they were closed down in the meat section. So we got a couple of drinks, though, and, uh, we did get some pork, though. Uh, so we got this, uh, Snapple watermelon, uh, and, uh, sun-kissed strawberry lemonade. 
So we'll do a review on those later. We're going to go home and get them cold, and then uh, we'll do a review on those. So, um, we're going to go and uh, do the orange chicken now. All right, Team Brandon, we're going inside the fries here. Get the rest of the ingredients that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that is. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. Cook the shit up tonight. So we're here. I got the gang with me. I got the gang with me. Gang, gang. So, uh, yeah, this is how we're going to do this. Fresh and natural chicken. Hoisin sauce. Two oranges. Soy sauce. Green onion. Yellow onion. Shallot. Ginger. Peas and carrots. Okay, we're back here, you guys. So now we're going to go ahead and start up the meal. Uh, we got some ingredients here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, what we have here uh, to get started with. So first things first, uh, we got a little orange juice. So we're gonna go ahead and dump this orange juice inside of our little uh, deal here. Don't worry about me. Let's pour this inside of our pot. So I already had that on medium, you guys. Um, just pouring the orange juice in there for now. Uh, we're gonna leave these little pieces for a little bit. I don't know if I could just dump them in. They're in. We got a little bit of mulch in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just that's just freshly squeezed orange juice with uh, some, you know, a little bit of the pulp in there and some, uh, you know, some orange wedges. Inside of that, we're gonna go ahead and add. Uh, Inside of that, we have the zest from those oranges. Just the outside of the orange, not the white part, just the orange part itself. We're gonna go ahead and dump that in also. So we're gonna bring this up, you guys, a little bit of a boil. Kind of turn that up. Inside of that, we're gonna add just a tiny bit of uh, ground ginger. A little bit of ground ginger in there. I already get a lot in there. Um, a little bit of white pepper. Not black pepper, white pepper. A little bit of white pepper. A little bit of a uh, little salt. Salt. Throw that in there. Now, with that, we're going to also put in uh, some orange extract. Orange extract. I don't know if I have the lid off. Nope, nope. The lid's not off. This guy's brand new. So, we're going to get this lid off. Get that little seal off there. We're going to put a little bit of orange extract. Like I said, y'all, I don't measure nothing. I just kind of eyeball stuff. So, like I said, I just dumped that in there, a little bit of orange extract. Now, with that, um, we need one more ingredient. And I think I have them over here. I don't have them on the table. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of sugar in here, guys. Oh, that's actually rice, but don't worry about that. That's actually rice, but we're going to add a little bit of sugar in here. Got some sugar right here, guys. So we're gonna add some sugar in. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and go ahead and share it too with your friends. And go ahead and put a little bit of sugar in there. Just like that, y'all. Put some of that sugar in there. We put a little bit more. Even though it's something in the, we call it? Let's see, uh, the next ingredient here. Now we're gonna get something here, like this little, my little piggy. Use that nonstick. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta put that in there. My bag don't like me using metal on these, you know what I mean? So put that in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add this orange marmalade in there. I did, did I show y'all what that was? I didn't even show y'all. That's sweet orange marmalade. Add that in. You're gonna add that in with this little orange mixture you got. 
And it's going to be one of the best orange sauces you've ever had in your life. We'll actually put a little bit more of that, uh, what do you call it? We'll put a little bit more of that, uh, I'm actually gonna keep this jar, you guys, and put the leftover <laughs> sauce back in the jar. Oh my God, who would have fucking thunk it? Put this back in the jar, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just rinse this out and uh, put it back in the jar. Put a little bit of water in that, like that. And we're gonna reuse that, we're gonna recycle that jar. So this is our sauce. We're gonna show them the sauce, babe. Get close up on that. This is what our sauce is looking like now. Don't worry, I know it looks a little thin, but we have something for that. Um, right over here, I have a little cornstarch slurry. Now this is just cornstarch and uh, cold water. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna thicken our sauce up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add that in, in a little bit. So we're going to actually add a little tiny bit more orange extract in here. So this is what I do. I don't measure things. I just pour things in and when I feel it, I feel it. That's just how I work. So follow along with me. Pour that in like that. I think we got enough to add in there. Then we're going to add uh, a tiny bit more ginger inside of here, you guys. We're gonna put a little bit more ginger. We're gonna open the big part up this time. Put a little bit more ginger in there. That's ground, fresh ground ginger, y'all. Oh, I got the sound over here. Fresh ground ginger, y'all. And then I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of this uh, white pepper in here. Tiny bit more of that white pepper. So that's that, y'all. Go ahead and mix this up. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil, y'all. I'm bringing this to a boil. And while we're bringing that to a boil, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get some chicken prepared. And then uh, we'll come back and let you see uh, what this looks like. All right, so we got this thing boiling now. Um, so now we have our cornstarch slur. Like I said, this is cornstarch and water. We're gonna go ahead and mix that in there, some of that. Just like that, you guys. We're just gonna go ahead and mix that in there and let it keep boiling. Right, that's our cornstarch slurry. Now what that is gonna do is gonna thicken it up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thicken it up like my bag. You know what I mean? I make it real thick. Is that right, babe? Mm, yep, sure do. I'm gonna make it real thick, you know what I'm saying? So that's like what that everything do. thick. Yeah, everything thick. My sauces, my bag. So now that's gonna go ahead and ooh, not hot. that's gonna go ahead and do its thing. See how that's boiling? It's kind of thickening up, y'all. I turned it down. I had that. Ooh, I'm gonna pull it off there for a minute, so I let it. And it's thickening up. It smells. It smells great. It smells real orangey. I have a real light. Uh, Orange sauce. I mean, this is just delicious, y'all. Look how that thickened up. Mm, smell that. I know we go ahead and taste this. See how it tastes. Right. It tastes right. I think. I think it's good. I think it's good. Let's see. What you think, babe? Go ahead and get a little wop on that. What you think? It's good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's our orange sauce right there, y'all. So our orange sauce is done. Um, like I said, it thickens up. We're going to go ahead and um, put a lid on that. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on the fried rice. Now, you guys have a walk like this at home but I got a walk here so if you don't have a walk um, I guess your next uh, best thing to use would probably be a cast iron skillet um, 
in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna go ahead and heat this up. Uh, we're gonna get it as hot as we can. Uh, kind of, you know, get it going. Okay, so come over here, babe. Follow me. No oh, way, I gotta grab some out of the fridge. You just go ahead and go over here, babe. Now, oh, let me pop this in the fridge real quick. Okay. I'm gonna give y'all a breakdown of these ingredients real quick, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, guys. So what I have here is fresh chopped ginger, fresh chopped shallots, a yellow onion, green onion, peas and carrots frozen, two eggs, ginger ground, white pepper, mustard, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, salt, minced garlic, and of course some MSG. And then we have our rice. Then we have some pork, because we're gonna do pork fried rice. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. We're gonna start off with our meat. Uh, we're gonna start off with our veggies. So we go ahead and throw those shallots in there, guys. Go ahead and throw the onion in. We got shallots and onions going. Okay, after the shallots and the onions, guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw in some of this fresh ginger, y'all. Go ahead and throw that fresh ginger in there. Get that going. Now, we got this going over here, guys. I'm gonna use a nice spoon here. Look at that. Oh, man. This is going like that. Okay, with those vegetables, guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw in some of this minced garlic. Now, you don't wanna burn your garlic. Throw the garlic in there. Some minced garlic. Now, with this step, we're making the meat. We're going to go ahead and throw in our strips of pork. We got some pork chops. We chop them up real thin like that. You guys can see. And that goes right in. Now I have this block on high, so we're cooking this on high. So, I'm gonna get that pork going. I'm gonna set it right on top. Look at those, uh, those great smelling vegetables. Oh God, it smells delicious, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our salt. We're gonna go ahead and put a little salt on this pork. Soft the pork like that. We're gonna come back, pick the pork with some accent. Put this up in your local grocer, MSG. We're gonna come back across this, white pepper. White pepper. Next, guys, we have ground mustard. Oh, we're going to open this up on the other side. It's kind of thick. Once again, like my bag. <laughs> Everything in this meal is thick. Y'all feel me? So we're going to put this. Oh my goodness. Some mustard, y'all. Now, now that we got all that stuff in there, we're going to go ahead and give it some mix. We're going to go ahead and give it some mix. We're going to get in there, baby. You can see that. We're going to give it a mix on that. Now, while this is cooking, we go ahead and let this cook up a little bit, guys, and then we'll come right back to it. All right, let's go here. So we can let this cook up, guys, for about uh, about 
fire 10, 15 minutes, and your pork is nice and cooked. Now you want to keep this stirring. You don't want to let it just sit there. You're going to want to just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. That's how you want to do that. You don't want to let it sit there. Do y'all know this? I got on the orange shirt for the orange chicken. I bet y'all didn't even get some orange chicken, man. Y'all, it's orange, like. All right, guys. So we got the pork going there. Mm -hmm. so, let's see. Got the pork going. Um. Now all we're gonna do is this step. You guys just go ahead and add soy sauce. And add a little soy sauce. Just like that. And then we're going to add in some poison salt. It smells great, y'all. You smell it? Oh, it smells great. You add in some poison. Not too much, just a little bit of flavor. And then we're going to add that Oh, shit, I'm going to spill all the green onions. Grab some green onions. Add a little bit. Pork for fried rice. Now I just step two, you could also take this. And you could uh, add your cabbage, carrot, red onion mix, and uh, those will be slapping in some egg rolls. Slapping. So uh, we got the meat part done. Uh, we're going to come back for the rice in a second, and uh, then we're pretty much on our way. Alright, right, guys. Back with this. I'm going to drop a couple of eggs in here. Just clean this out and uh, put this nothing but oil. And we're doing some eggs. Alright, we're Got some crazy filling on it. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it like that and strain it. I'm gonna get rid of that. So there's our egg. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out, guys. Like that. Nothing to it. Add some oil in here. Now we're making fried rice at this point, guys. Oil. Oil is there. We're let that heat up. We're gonna let that heat up. Now, when it's heating up, we're gonna take this rice. We're gonna add rice into this, you guys. Once it gets going, it should be about ready now. Just watch hot. Like I said, it's ready. I'm gonna dump rice in there, guys. We got some rice, and dump it in there. And that, that rice is made? Yeah, that rice is uh, already pre made. From the um, rice cooker? From the rice cooker. Or we just put that in the rice cooker and pre made that already. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, just a little bit of uh, break down those rice crumbs. It's kind of thick. So break it down. Now, there's a little bit of oil in there. We'll put that in there. So we're going to do that. Let's kind of fry it up. That's what we're doing. Fry it up. Fry it up. So, that's the one like that. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of the soy sauce. Kind of splash that around. I don't want to be stern while we're doing this. So, let's try. Yeah. Now, a little bit more. A little bit more. I need to crack it. A little bit more. Now, 
applying right to this point. I'm trying to push into it. We're applying right to this point. Now, from this side, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more soy sauce to this. Now, to this, we're going to go ahead and add, you got smiling about right, so, we're going to go ahead and add peas and carrots, like that, frozen pack, we're going to add that like that. That like that. Now, this, we're going to add a touch of MSG, a touch of white powder, black or white pepper, sorry, white pepper, and just a touch of ginger, just a little bit. Now, we're going to also add in at this point our green onions. Just cook them while they're off. So I'm going to keep this thing going. Fine rice at this point, y'all. Now. Tempura batter we made earlier. Let's put the chicken in there. Let a little bit drain off. Drop him in, y'all. Drop him in. Drop him in, y'all. Just drop him in. Now, I cut really small pieces for the kids. Um, 
I got much bigger pieces. These are just small for the kids. So there's a ton of them that I got to do like this. So, um, but yeah, this is what you do. You just try to drop these bad boys in here. With the wet tempura batter. Get as much off as you can. Kind of like the chicken and waffle video. Get as much off as you can. And then just dump them right in there. Like that. So those are good to go. Now, it will stick to the bottom of the, the fryer. Um, you guys have that basket fryer like me. Um, it will you know, stick to the fryer. So what we're going to do is kind of shake it up. But they're stuck down there on the ground. See how they're stuck down there? We're just kind of pop them off, guys. Pop them off. Just kind of pop them off. And normally, these are so small. I couldn't do it. Now normally I set them down in there and let them, uh, you know, kind of cook for a little bit before I drop them. But I didn't really do that with these small ones because they're so small. Um, so after you do that, uh, we'll let those fry up and then we'll do it since it's going to be hot. Um, we let those fry up. So now they're up and they're loose. So they're jumping around in there. So we'll let those fry up. While those are frying up, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some cleanup and get your plates ready uh, for the for the mukbang. Okay, guys. So now we got the chicken here done. We're gonna take our chicken. We dump it right in. Dump it right in just like that. Now, if you remember. Earlier we made a delicious orange sauce. You see that there? We made a delicious orange sauce. We just dumped some of that in there. Put a little few oranges, just like that. And then we just toss it though. We just toss it. We just stir it up or just put tossing is good. Oh, and one thing we did forget you guys. I normally save uh, green onions to put on top of this, but I didn't put the green onions on top. I kind of forgot them. Um, but yeah, there you have it. You get a little of this, babe. So there you have it. Orange chicken. Homemade. Y'all seen it yourselves. Fried rice. Let me fry rice with raw. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, folks. Now we got our orange chicken that we finished off, and our fried rice. Baby, we're gonna give them a close up on that. Um, pork fried rice, orange chicken, uh, smacker. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video with your friends. Uh, right now, um, we're gonna go ahead and get into this dinner. Right now, Brandon team out. It's good. I'm going to tell garbage. you How's dinner? How's dinner? How's dinner? How's dinner? It's good. good. Boy, if someone called it bad, they would be weird. Five. Yeah. Mm. It's garbage. Go, it's garbage. What are you talking about?